okay so hello friends today we are going to discuss the upper limb blood and the nerve supply so this is a quick revision session so let's start so we'll start with the deltoid muscle so deltoid muscle has three head that is anterior head middle head and the posterior head the anterior head the blood supply is circumflex humeral posterior okay the posterior and this is a branch of axillary artery and the nerve supply is by the axillary nerve remaining two head the blood supply is same nerve supply is also same so deltoid muscle is done now come to the biceps group so biceps groups has two head the short head and the long head short head the blood supply is by brachial artery okay and long head also by brachial artery nerve supply short head is by musculo cutaneous nerve long head also same so you can remember easily next is triceps so triceps we have three heads in the triceps lateral head medial head and the long head lateral head supplied by the artery profunda profunda brachii and nerve supplied by radial nerve medial head long head blood supply is same that is the profunda brachii and nerve supply is also same radial nerve okay now brachialis and the coracobrachialis brachialis is supplied by the artery radial recurrent and nerve supply is by musculocutaneous Coracobrachialis blood supply is the brachial artery, nerve supply musculocutaneous. So, arm is done. Okay, so now come to the forearm. So, forearm there are from lateral side brachioradialis. So, brachioradialis blood supply is through radial recurrent. Okay, and nerve supply is by the radial nerve next is pronator teres pronator teres blood supply is through ulnar artery nerve supply by median nerve next fixed carpi radialis blood supply is through ulnar artery and nerve supply is also by median nerve next is palmaris longus blood supply is by ulnar artery and nerve supply is also by median nerve next is flexor digitorium superficialis blood supply is through ulnar artery nerve supply is through median nerve next flexor carpi ulnaris blood supply to ulnar nerve uh, sorry ulnar artery and nerve supply is through ulnar nerve is a different here this is by ulnar nerve next is flexor pollicis longus flexor pollicis longus blood supply is same that is the ulnar artery nerve supply is by anterior <coughs> interosseous okay Next is flexor digitorium, sorry, flexor digitorium profundus. Here the blood supply is same, that is the ulnar artery. Nerve supply is also flexor pollicis longus, same, that is the anterior interosseous nerve. Next come to pronator quadratus. Blood supply is by the anterior 
interosseous okay and nerve supply through also anterior interosseous next is anconeous anconeous the blood supply is through interosseous recurrent nerve supply by radial nerve next is extensor carpi ulnaris blood supply is ulnar artery nerve supply is deep branch <coughs> of radial okay next is extensor digiti minimi here blood supply is through interosseous recurrent nerve supply is same as above that is deep branch of radial next is extensor digitorium extensor digitorium the blood supply is common interosseous <coughs> Nerve supply is deep branch of radial. Next is extensor carpi radialis brevis. The blood supply here is radial artery. Nerve supply is also radial nerve. Next is extensor carpi. Wait. Extensor carpi radialis brevis. Okay, extensor carpi radial is released artery is radial artery nerve is also radial nerve next is supinator supinator the blood supply is radial recurrent okay and the nerve supply is deep branch of radial next is extensor indices the blood supply here is common interosseous and the nerve supply is by deep branch of radial okay next is extensor policy longus. here blood supply is through same as above common interosseous and nerve supply is also deep branch of deep branch of radial next is abductor policies longus here also blood supply is common injurious and nerve supply is also deep branch of radial next is extensor policies brevis the blood supply is common injurious and nerve supply is deep branch of deep branch of radial so this is the forearm is done now come to hand so hand so these opponents policies here these muscles wait a minute this three muscle is called what thinner muscle thinner muscle the muscles are opponent's policies abductor policies brevis and flexor policies brevis so let's see the blood supply and nerve supply so opponent's policies the blood supply is superficial palmar arch and remaining two is also by the same artery so blood supply is same for all of the thinner muscle nerve supply is by median nerve here not also same abductor policies is same that is median nerve but the flexor policies brevis is by the deep branch branch of ulnar okay now palmar is brevis short muscle supplied blood blood supply is by the ulnar superficial branch okay superficial branch 
not also alnar alnar superficial branch next abductor digiti minimi flexor digiti minimi sorry flexor digiti brevis minimi brevis and the opponent's digiti minimi these three are called the hypothenar hypothenar muscle so first one is abductor digiti minimi let's see the blood supply through deep branch of ulnar nerve supply deep branch of ulnar okay next is flexor digiti minimi brevis this the blood supply will be ulnar nerve supply is also ulnar nerve next is opponent's digiti minimi blood supply through stem ulnar artery nerve supply will be deep branch of ulnar nerve next come to the this three is not done next come to lumbricals so first lumbrical the blood supply will be superficial palmar arch second lumbrical also same superficial palmar arch nerve supply First is Palmer Digital branch of median nerve. Second is also through same nerve. Third, the blood supply is through common Palmer Digital. Fourth is also same. Nerve supply of third is deep branch of ulnar and fourth is also same so you can remember easily these two are same these two are same and these two are same blood supply and nerve supply okay next is the adductor policies okay adductor policies is muscle which is supplied by the blood supply is through deep palmar arch and nerve supply through deep branch of ulnar nerve next is dorsal interosseous interosseous first second third and fourth so first let's see the blood supply this is dorsal metacarpal remaining three is also same nerve through deep branch of ulnar nerve second is also same but third is by ulnar nerve directly and fourth is also ulnar nerve directly okay next is 11 is palmar interosseous so palmar interosseous we have first second and third interosseous first interosseous the blood supply is by the palmar metacarpal carpal so remaining two is also same palmar metacarpal nerve supply is through deep branch of ulnar nerve remaining two is also same so you can remember easily the nerve supply of palmar interosseous okay so the end of the upper limb muscles nerve and the blood supply so guys if you like this video then please do not forget to hit the like button and please do subscribe my channel